Hello and welcome back to the channel. So I've had a few messages over Instagram the last few weeks about saving to an external hard drive and people being worried that they're going to lose their project if they have to move to, let's say, a new computer or if they delete the project from their computer. You know, what happens? So anyway, let's go through it today and show you that it's actually a really simple process, really easy to set up and it won't take very long. So if you like things about DaVinci Resolve, color grading and some tricks to it, make sure to like this video for starters. I'd really much appreciate it and to subscribe to the channel. So let's say that you open up your project with DaVinci Resolve and it looks like this. So the first thing you want to do is come up to this little box here, click that and then that'll bring you to this project library. So at the moment we have local database, which is your hard drive on your computer. So obviously we want to be working from an external hard drive. So let's go to add project library. And this is where we set up that external hard drive. So here's a really important tip. Remember the name that you call the project. Don't just mash the keys and have a bunch of A, S and W's because it's going to be a real pain in the ass later on. And I'll show you why, but that's towards the end of the video. So now we have our name, subscribe, subscribe to the channel and go to browse. And we're going to save it to our external hard drive, which is this bad boy here, A011. Now let's just make a new folder and we'll call it, we'll just call it projects for now. Um, you'd normally name it the project you're working on. So if you're naming a music video and you're working for, I have no idea, some music person, just name it theirs. Okay. And then select folder. Okay. Now we create that and DaVinci Resolve will do this little thing. So now we have two projects in this library space. So we have our local database, which again is our hard drive on our computer. And now we have subscribe, which is the project we're working from the external hard drive. So now we want to double click on our project and we want to get out of the cut page because no one uses the cut page. Now, when I am grading a project, I will more often than not take all that footage that they have and put it onto my computer and run it let's say from my ssd drive because i know my ssd drive is really fast and it's a lot faster than external hard drive so i would recommend if you have quick hard drives to work off that and not to work off external hard drive especially if you're doing something which has heaps of all effects on it because your computer will really chug along always try and work off your computer Okay, so let's say we've done that and let's go to YouTube and we're going to be working off this terrible clip today and let's just say frame rate we've got to change. We're going to do this really lazy and let's look at our terrible footage. I was going to do a scar replacement and then decided to do something else, which is this video. Okay, now let's bring this bad boy in here and let's just fill that gap in. Let's go to the color page. Now let's make a really awful grade. Let's pump that up, pump that up, and make it really, oh, not that, make it really bright, add a bunch of saturation, bunch of contrast, and everyone is happy. Now, the director and the cinematographer, for some bizarre reason, think this looks amazing. So great. So you go to the delivery page, now you deliver it onto their external hard drive, and then you deliver it onto your own hard drive. Now, I know that sounds a bit bizarre, but when I'm delivering a project, I always deliver it into at least two spots because it's always good to have it on your hard drive. And most importantly, they should always be on the external hard drive because they're probably going to go back, open up in Premiere Pro or whatever program they're using, and they're going to export it then. But it's important to have it on your computer because maybe they're going home and they drop the hard drive or the hard drive is corrupted for some reason. In the next few days, at least you know you have that backed up. Okay, so everything is good. Now we want to save this project. So we'll call it test. Then we'll go to save. Okay, so let's say a few weeks gone by, you haven't heard anything, so everyone's happy, and you don't want to see this anymore because once that hard drive's out, it's not going to show the project anymore. You think, all right, well, I don't need it. So you would right click and then you go to remove. And you go disconnect. Now it says that if you disconnect this, you can't undo this action. So it is quite intimidating, but I assure you it's not a big deal. So let's disconnect that. And then as soon as you disconnect it, phone call, there's a director and cinematographer, and they're like, hey, look, 
that project looks terrible. I'm so sorry. We're just in a hurry. We really wanted some food. Um, do you want to hang out with you? And you're like, yeah, that's cool. I understand. You know, what do you want to do about it? And they say, look, we want to come around and we want to change the grade and do something really simple. And you're like, no worries. Come around and we'll figure it out. Okay. So they come around and they plug the hard drive back in. But then nothing happens. As you can see, the hard drive is back in, but this project doesn't come out because you've disconnected that hard drive from the project. So then what do you do? Well, there's no need to freak out. It's actually really simple. All you got to do is go to add project library and you want to go to connect, not create, because we've already made it. So go to connect. Now you want to remember the name that you did before. That's why we don't want to match that keyboard. Now you go to location and go down to external hard drive, projects, select folder, connect, boom. Here is your file. But the problem is, is that you've deleted your video from your computer. So what do you do? Now, I know I said that you should copy those files across into your hard drive, but let's just say you're just working on this one video, so it's not really a big deal. Now, all you gotta do is right click that, go to rear link, select the clips, come up to the hard drive, which is here, select folder, boom. Now you have your terrible video back. And what's more amazing, if you go back to color, you still have that terrible grade that nobody likes. So let's say, look, we don't want this anymore. Reset the whole thing. And then they say, we just want a black and white image with no contrast. That is basically horrible. Let's boost up those lifts. Then they came down a little bit more. And then we'll put heaps of grain on it. So let's go to grain. Because they've decided that they want the Alpha Delta 3200 look. If you know film, you know that is an extremely, extremely grainy film. Control F to full screen. So now you've made this terrible looking black and white 1970s super grain film. And they're like, we couldn't be happier. No big deal. Go back to deliver a page. Do everything the same again. Deliver it. Back it up to your own computer. Wait a few weeks. And if they call again, just say, that's completely fine. But I'm going to have to charge you a little bit more money. But I think by then it should be completely fine. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I think it's really important to know these type of things. So if you like this type of stuff, make sure to subscribe to the channel and to like the video. Very much appreciate it. If you have anything you want to say below in the comments, if you're having problems with DaVinci Resolve in any particular thing, external hard drives or anything else that you're having problems with, make sure to write it down in the comments below. You can message me on Instagram. I have no problem at all answering those questions. And thanks for watching and have a great day. And um, <laughs> that's it. I have nothing else to say. Thanks very much. Goodbye.